All the forces, news, events, stories that matter. Stories that matter. On the forces station, the FBS. So in May this year, the British Army football team are off to Slovakia to play the Slovak Army. And to tell us more is retired Major Terry Butterworth and Dr. Jan Telensky, who's built the stadium they'll be playing in and owns the hotel the team will be staying in. So Jan and Terry, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. It's lovely to have you here. So firstly, Terry, how did this whole match come about? Because it's not a regular thing, is it? No, it's a one-off. We went to the Army Cup final this year where my former battalion was playing in the final the Duke of Wellingtons and Jan and I were guests at lunch and because we were talking about the Christmas truce over over lunchtime Jan suggested that he'd invite the British Army team out to play the Slovak Army which we have done. For anybody that doesn't know the history, a hundred years ago, of course, uh, you know, we were against Germany and the Slovakians. Uh, so, you know, like you said, there's been so many matches and truce matches, so this is quite significant, isn't it, Jan? Yes, uh, it uh, sort of for re reminds people the Great War, and it shows that rather than fighting, as they did, they went out of the trenches and played uh, a friendly football match and this is the to symbolize that the armies are much better in playing football rather than fighting and because Aqua City is in Poprat Slovakia which is only 100 kilometers from the Ukraine border which we know has a war it is also if you like a symbolic view that it is better to play games play football rather than fighting say it with sport and you own the hotel and the football stadium uh, the guys are going to be using just tell us how you became involved because you do a lot to support the British military how you became affiliated with supporting them uh, I started the holiday for heroes when I read articles in the papers that a soldier wearing uniform was not allowed to hotel and then he was thrown out of the train and I realized that can't be right because it is a section of the society which gives everything to protect its well-being and therefore you can't have somebody fighting for your rights and then punish him for it. So I started uh, supporting uh, Duke of Wellington because I love military history. I enjoy reading. We've published two books, uh, one which was about the history of the Duke of Wellington Regiment and the second one was the uh, Operation Herrick in Afghanistan. And uh, since then I do support soldiers which has been injured as well as those which are on low pay like the privates and so on which could not afford a five-star holiday so we help them in our resort to enjoy and to if you like reap the benefit of being heroes or fighting for so we could live a peaceful life and what's it been like for you because you've read some diary entries for those on the front line as part of that book and then you get to host them later on this year in your stadium what does that mean to you well it, it is fantastic because you, you follow the whole progression you read about their fights you read about their comradeship so you might as well give them three days of fantastic food a good drink a good game good laugh and then they will of course watch the legends after they finish their match they will all watch the VIP seats and they all watch the best players of, of uh, uh, England and Czechoslovakia it's gonna be amazing isn't it now now Terry do we know who's in the legends team for the guys to watch we know we've got a list of 20 <gasps> top players uh, who all play Premier League football, all internationals. But we aren't going to name them until March when the Prime Minister of Slovakia is going to have a news conference and he's naming them on that day. Wow, OK. So will, will the, the guys in the British Army team get to maybe meet their legends? They're going to meet them. They're going to play they're golf with them. with them. Oh, wow, Dinners, amazing. Dinners, barbecues, they're going to meet them at all times. They'll it's mix with their very best. Now, we've got to talk about the stadium quickly as well because it's the first ever stadium in the world that's been built on a, a geothermal spa. Is that yes. right? On a geothermal energy. So the gas doesn't heat the water to heat the grass, but the water comes at 48 degrees, heats all the hotels, all the 18 pools, and it comes at 24 degrees, which is then let under the stadium, under the grass, and heats it again. So the, uh, the, the, the pitch is green above and it's green below. And uh, the whole complex saves every day 34 tons of CO2. Wow. Because there are no emission. Eco Stadium. So when when the players go into the shower afterwards, it's straight All from the, the water is uh, uh, is no gas. Love it. We don't use gas, and we create our own electricity. Amazing. So and it's all for nothing. Oh yeah, exactly. Nature. You don't need to pump it. It comes with the pressure, and you just utilize the heat. Wow. Okay. So I've got to ask you ahead of the match. 
match predictions. I feel a bit like Jeff Sterling right now. So, do we think the British Army are going to win, Terry, Jan? Are you uh, opposing on this, this we, match prediction? We, we, we are pretty convinced that the British Army are going to win. The Slovak Army haven't got a team. <gasps> They are training. They, oh, they, they're training. They're having trials with the Slovak RAF, the Slovak Navy, and the Slovak Army to pick a team. So we're, we're thoroughly expecting the British but, Army but to win. But you must not tell anybody. It's a secret, okay? Okay, <laughs> we won't tell anybody. You're not on radio now. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah. fine. Well, come on, the British Army. Yeah, uh, we can't it. wait for it. What date's it on? 29th of May. The Sky team will be there as well, so the whole match will be broadcasted throughout the world. Brilliant. Okay, uh, that's perfect. Well, for now, we're going to see you more tonight on British Forces News. But for now, Dr. Jan Talensky and retired Major Terry Butterworth, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. Your forces.